Hello, YouTubers. This is a beginner approach to Java compiler. This tutorial, you can have a basic idea about how can you build a small Java compiler using PHP as backend. So, this is the front end part of the video tutorial. Before starting with this video, I'd like to tell you that we will be not showing you the CSS that has been implemented in this project. Now, let's write a small Java program so that you can understand the concept of this video tutorial. So, I have used a class of hello world and initialize the main function the main intention of this program is that we'll be writing a simple message so it will be outputting to the console of that program so i have not used any i have not used any advanced text editor this is the normal text area box and as soon as i hit run button you can just see the message has been printed on the console okay now let me implement the input scanner class which has been used in java the main intention of the scanner class is that how can you make your program interactive so let me write this uh, program then i'll get back to you Okay, as we are end of writing the program, we'll be printing out the name of what the user will be entering. So, in this case, we have to enter the name in the command line parameter import box. So, let's type So let's so let us type the name of the input. In this case, I've written as YouTube. So the thing will be appearing in the console of this browser. So let me run this program. So you can just see it is written here. Your name is YouTube. So let's dive into the code of this so team this is the front end part of the tutorial so you can see i have uh, okay first let me run the program okay let me start my wam server Okay, let me rerun the project. Okay, now you can just see I have used two text area. One is input value and another is the output value and a standard input box with the name of out. And in this thing, we have grouped all the things into the form value input form and we are using jquery for passing the values 
to the backend. Now this entire function comes into one compile dot php. So so let us first move into compile dot php. So guys, this is the compile dot php file. So we are taking the file content and we are pro we are processing the file content into the file operation function f open and we are saving that file to be as hello world dot java so if you use f open function you can just know that it will create and write a file in both ways so after this what we have done we are using the java code so in order to process the in order to process the java code we have to install java in your local system and tell php that this is the particular directory in which your java has been installed in which your java has been installed and right now we'll be proceeding with rest of the code uh, mm -hmm. you can see that we have used putenv function of php in order to let the php decide in which environmental path the entire java program has been fitted from where we can generate the java class so in order to run the program we have to use cell exe with java has the world dot java and this is the compile cmd with descriptor array now the main function comes here when you are working on pipes indirectly you are working on the stream you have to use the function as proc underscore open open that is proc open the process which needs to be processed in the command terminal so now we'll be checking whether this resource is a process or not if it is a streaming content then we'll be proceeding with the text and we are passing the input parameter standard in you can just see this is the input parameter box and we are using explode to be as comma so we are collecting that array pushing it into that array and after that we are getting the variable in the output stream and we are closing this process so let us friends once again go to the main compiler let me copy and paste the code which i have used here this is a simple input scanner function now let me give the name as ben coder and let me run the program okay you can just see that ben is on here because i have not mentioned next line so let me make make me live line for this again it will execute the code and you will be able to see your perfect output so friends if you like this tutorial please like share and subscribe thank you